Hi, welcome. My name is Peter Murray. I'm a solutions engineer at GitHub. Hi, I'm Sam Rowe, and uh, I'm a cloud solution architect as part of the customer success unit at Microsoft. And today, um, this Microsoft Tech Day uh, is about getting hands on with DevOps tooling. I'm going to be taking you, the viewer, on a journey of using Azure DevOps and GitHub to implement some DevOps practices. Uh, the intended audience for today is anybody from a developer background who wants to get hands on with DevOps practices, uh, and anybody from an ops uh, background who wants to get more insights into the dev role and getting hands on with DevOps. Now, DevOps has been around for ages. I'm sure lots of you have already heard about it, um, but it's never been more important than now for cloud first organizations. Um, we need to think about how we secure our code. Uh, we ensure quality of our code, um, make sure that we're collaborating uh, properly on our source code and the ways we work, um, and making sure that we're able to reliably deploy change. Now, this means leveraging the CICD tooling, ensuring we've got top-notch collaboration with Azure Boards and GitHub PRs. And let's not forget there are some other amazing tools in this kit bag that we're going to be showing you today um, that can help ensure the quality and security of the code you've written and are ready to deploy. So today we're going to go through all of this in the next five sessions. Um, in the first session, we're going to show you how to get your Git repo out of Azure DevOps and into a GitHub organization. In the second session, we'll be going through GitHub Actions for our Java bookstore. Uh, the third session, we'll be showing some of those amazing GitHub advanced security toolings. And in the fourth session, we're going to be going into Azure Boards and sharing some ways you can work and collaborate using Azure Boards to manage the workflow of your team. And then finally, in the fifth session, we'll kick it up a notch and go integrating GitHub Actions with chat ops for Teams and wrapping it all together. Now, please remember, we've got a live Q&A throughout. So if you have any questions, please ask away, and we'll answer as many as we can in the time available. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm really super excited. So uh, let's get started now and head on into the first session of the day. Hey friends, so today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how you can get a, a repo from Azure DevOps into GitHub and why you might do that. So um, some of the good reasons you're going to be looking to do this is because GitHub's got some awesome security tools in there like Dependabot, CodeQL for, for searching through your code. Um, uh, Peter's going to be looking at one of the, these tools in later sessions um, where we can go through some of those advantages. Uh, you've also got all the advantages of GitHub workflows through GitHub Actions, and they're a lot more than just CI, CD. And again, there's a later session today where we can go through some of that. But most importantly with GitHub, you've got this concept of inner sourcing, where we bring the benefits uh, from the open source community of working together collaboratively on code um, in an open source model, but within your business, in an inner sourcing model. But how do we do that? So first of all, I'm going to start by showing you over on your screen um, our code repo. This is a DevOps 101 repo, which contains our, our bookstore. Um, at the moment, this is in Azure DevOps. And what we're going to do is we're going to clone that code back to our local machine. And then we're going to push it back up into our GitHub organization that we've got set up for this today. So step one, we're going to clone this repo back down to my local machine. Um, I've got my authentication already set up here, so I'm going to use my SSH credentials because I've got those set up. And we just literally click clone button, uh, click on SSH, um, <clears throat> clone to a particular repo. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to switch to my uh, local machine. And if I do a git clone, of that back to my local PC, that's going to clone it down to my local machine. And if I CD into that directory, um, into the DevOps 101 directory, I can see that I've got those files in there. And if I do a git status, we can see that it's up to, up to scratch with the origin main branch currently. Um, what I want to do at this point is I want to make sure I've got all of the branches down locally. 
So I'm going to do a git fetch all. Uh, all like that. And it's going to fetch the origin. It's going to check whether there's any other branches. In this case, that's the only branch we need to do. Um, I'm going to then show the remote branches that I've got set up. And I've only got one currently, which is the origin. And if I do a git remote show origin, we can see that that's set up to track my um, repo inside Azure DevOps. Now we want to actually create our repo in GitHub and push it up into there. So if I go back to my tech days, we go to our uh, Octo Demo Tech Days um, GitHub organization that me and Peter are working in. I'm going to create a new repository. And the repository we're going to be running today is called Bookstore. And this is an internal repository. I'm not going to tick anything down here at all. I'm just going to click create the repository. And this is going to tell me to give, give me instructions on how to upload. Now, the only problem here is it's, it's going to tell me to overwrite the origin. Um, we don't actually want to write, overwrite the origin in this particular step, but we're going to follow these instructions pretty much as we go along um, to, to push our current repository up. So we're going to copy that command line, go back to our window, and we're going to change it from uh, git remote add origin to git remote add GitHub, and that's just the name of our remote, and then the Git URL for um, the actual repository itself. Then, if we check again, we're going to push. We, this is checking out the main branch. We don't need to do that because our main branch is already called main. Uh, we don't have any other name for our trunk branch in this case. And then we can do a Git push u or, um, origin main, but instead of uh, origin we want to do a git push github main and that's pushed up our um one branch that's gone forwards now we could if we had more than one branch at this point push all of our branches by doing a git push dash u github dash dash all and that would push all of our branches to the upstream um but that should be enough for today we've only got the one branch so that won't actually do anything extra today if we go back to our repository and we just quickly refresh that we should now see that let's hope you get your keyboard shortcuts right sam um, we've got our repository pushed up there, and the bookstore is now contains the same code um, with the same dates on them as they did inside the um, uh, 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 DevOps days uh, file. Cool. So on to the next session. So I'm... Um, Thank you for watching that. Um, Peter, any kind of uh, comments on, on that particular method of um, getting a Git repo from Azure DevOps into GitHub? Um, yeah, the, the, that process is, is fairly easy and, and straightforward, as you sh showed. The, there are some other alternatives that you can use with the dash dash mirror, um, which would actually mirror all the branches and, and keep like two repositories in sync, um, which you might want to actually maybe use if you had a more complex scenario with a lot of branches and that uh, it would cut down on, on some of the, uh, the typing there. But uh, on the whole, um, yeah, I really appreciate you uh, deciding that you're going to take the opportunity to take this forward and, and use GitHub features on this. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what else we can add in the uh, upcoming sessions. So am I. I think it will be awesome. Um, we did have a question around uh, you making GitHub the origin repo. And then um, just on that, it, it, it's just a naming convention. When you are um, doing a Git show, you can a Git show remote. You can have lots of different remotes, and I just named the GitHub one as GitHub. 
um, it's quite easy to remove a remote and then add it again as a different name, such as Origin. Origin yeah. just happens to be the, the standard one, isn't it? Yeah, you can rename, the, I mean, even the Origin, you could just rename it um, the Git commands, the blank tools um, are very expressive in that um, that way. Uh, the other thing is, is that realistically, um, you were showing us sort of how to transition things across. Um, you know, you would potentially have all your developers now cloning from the GitHub side instead of the uh, the uh, Azure DevOps repo going forward because you effectively resource this and uh, you don't want people to collaborating on the other side. Yeah, you know, we've made the decision to move to GitHub. Let's uh, let's make all the all the uh, developers work from there. That's a great point, and um, thank you for raising that. Absolutely, you know, reminding the developers that they're now pulling from and pushing to. Uh, GitHub would be an important step. And one one thing you could add to that is you can put a um, branch protection on in Azure repos to lock the branch so that people can't push code accidentally to it, because um, that would confuse matters a lot, I think. Uh, it's, it's also useful from that perspective that you know, you've got a second uh, reference, right? So it's locked, it uh, can satisfy your audit requirements and that for a period of time until you're comfortable that you've transitioned and moved everything that you want to. Cool. So I just wanted to um, touch while we're in this this moment of Q&A. Uh, people are asking a lot around uh, Azure DevOps versus GitHub. And I don't think it is uh, a black and white thing at the moment. Um, Microsoft owns both products. Um, and uh, uh, GitHub's doing some really interesting and innovative things around security. Um, we're not suggesting that everybody should move from Azure DevOps to GitHub, but that's, that's not what we're trying to do. It's just for today's sessions, we want to show some of the really cool and advanced features that are in GitHub around advanced security, around integrating the workflows um, into Teams and other kind of pieces that we didn't feel, uh, you know, some of those features aren't in Azure DevOps. Um, so. That's why today's tech demo is around uh, uh, going from Azure DevOps into GitHub, but also keeping some of the functionality of Azure DevOps by integrating with Azure Boards. Um, you, there's no mandate that you need to move from one to the other. We just that's what we wanted to show off today. Yeah, and m most of it is based around the feature set that you're actually looking to leverage. Um, as, as Sam pointed out, if you want to use things like advanced security, the repository has to live inside the GitHub side of things. With respect to also migration activities, um, we, we, we're really only moving the source code here when we're doing this activity. Um, things like existing Azure DevOps pipelines and that uh, require, require some tweaking and finessing to make them compatible within the, the Actions ecosystem. Um, mm -hmm. We're not focusing on any demonstrations of that today, um, and it depends on how complex your uh, pipelines are as to how easy it is to migrate those across to the Actions ecosystem. Cool. At which point, I think let's head on into uh, demo session two.